Dude, we should be a string quartet at this point. A string quartet? Where the fuck it is? We should be string instruments. <laughs> I've always really? wanted to be a violin string quartet. So. Really, there's three of us. Dude, there is all sorts of wrong with your saying right there. <laughs> you know what? Just anyway, to welcome to part 10! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's why you can't introduce parts. Welcome <laughs> to part 10, everybody. I'm hungry. This is, by the way, the last part. It's also like 24 minutes and 50 seconds. I'm pretty sure well, they can... Raw video I'm, is. I'm pretty sure they can read, Chris. Yeah, but can they read numbers? No. We're in America. Nobody knows how to do stuff in America. You should probably beat that out. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Here, what? Do one of your famous Ethan intros. Well, to go by, you, you, to you go haven't by... done a good, you haven't done a good intro in like five parts, so you should probably do a good intro right now. All right. Well, I was going to say to go off of Eric's little mistake that got your nuts in like a freaking knot, Chris. So I've always wanted to be a violin when I was a kid. If it's not too late, it's not funny. Yeah, exactly. Because you fucking interrupted me. <laughs> well, there were all sorts of wrong with his say. He wants I... to string quartet. There's three of us, so quartet wouldn't work because quartet is four. And the str he wants to be a string. I mean, he doesn't know how to play a string instrument, nor is, is he a string instrument. All right. <laughs> you know what? You can get all band Fuck geek you. Later. I know how to play a guitar. So? I know how to play, like, eight instruments. And it begins. Look at you, that's your profession. I know how to weld a fucking building together so that it doesn't crash down during an earthquake or tidal wave. The fuck you got? You could build me a stage that I can that's perform. That's right. Shut up. <laughs> I can take apart a trumpet, clean it, and put it back together. I win. Welder wins. I still think you should make me a stage, and then I'll perform on it, and then Ethan can do some voices and stuff, okay, yeah. You a stage so you can die on it. Yeah, if, if I can make entertainment, that's fine. Oh, it'll be entertaining to me, because then, you, uh, well, I'll see your carcass there, and I'll just be laughing at you. <laughs> yeah, I'm so hungry. Didn't you, like, how long was it ago when you had dinner? Like, a half an hour ago? Yeah, but it, dinner wasn't that good. It wasn't half an hour ago, it was like an hour ago. Well, sorry. Uh, a half ago. An hour without food? Oh, shit. You must be starving. Yeah. All I had was some candy. What happened to all your... Ugh. <sighs> yoy yoy. Uh, silence for a while. Silence because. Silence! Uh, silence! Of the lab. Silence! I'll kill you! Fuck my freaking voice. I kinda wanna go to Thank God it's Fridays. Hey, you boy. Tomorrow. They're not the one that we went I don't went know to. if you can there. <laughs> he had a bad experience recently. I well, was with him. Yeah, yeah, he was with me, <laughs> Eric. <laughs> Yeah. It was oh, I didn't know that. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah it was, it was, yeah, it was, it was with me. Experience. Yeah, it was pretty damn depressing. But I still want to go to not to that one anymore. The one in... So, are we going in reverse again? Where I live is better. <laughs> well, what I was... I'm trying to get back to the Criteria area, but um, I want to go up the uh, one <laughs> direction to get up there. Um, yes, Chris. Tee -hee -hee -hee. You're funny. No, I'm not. I'm, so you I mean, just fucking you went the long way. Yeah, I'm going around this way. All the way, way. around. Well, Wait. there's 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 three ways to get into um there's three ways to get back into Criteria. Um, oh. I'm choosing the option three, but criteria. unfortunately, no. The criteria for Criteria is that you have three blasters at all times have a power suit and know that you're about to get fucked by a metroid well i got two three different types of power suits and i got four beam stacks Does dude got... someone's selling mario all-stars for only five bucks it's a lie it's probably broken 
Yeah, they probably just give you like a one fifth of the disc. <laughs> Here, have fun. It's hope all the this... way in Pasadena, though. I don't want to drive to that far to pick it up. <laughs> I hope you enjoy one Dude, fifth of your childhood. Hey, no, I was actually in Pasadena recently. There's this uh, costume shop. These guys actually make custom costumes and everything. You ask them to make it, as long as you pay for it, they'll make the costume. Cool. Like, I I, I'm actually costume. planning on doing this little skit that between me and my uh, or my coworkers and school mates, Garrett. We're gonna be doing some kind of skit that has to do with fast food chain restaurants and the Hamburglar. Plug in, plug in, nice. plug in, plug in, plug you in. You should, um, I have a friend that makes costumes too, and all you gotta do is buy him the part, buy him the stuff, and he'll make it for you. And he makes some good costumes. Well, these guys are professionals. They they also keep their own costumes. They, you really gotta check them out. I'll give you a business card. They are actually very good. Yeah, you should, and I want, I, want, I want to see it. That'd be cool. My well, friend, next time I meet, I'll yeah, we'll it... give you the business card because that place is just okay. bitching. It's a small building, but they own all their costumes and they rent them out and all that. And they, they can also build costumes. They have like amazing costumes there. That's really cool. The kind of shit you'd probably see the very hardcore fans that like Comic Con or Anime Con would wear. That's cool. Yeah, so, some of those, that's that's kind of like what my friend makes. He makes like hardcore costumes. Uh, yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty cool to see the stuff, and I'm like, I'm like, hey, can you make a hamburger costume? He's like, yeah, uh, I'll get ring up the price right now. Wh what? Awesome! I love how her ship looks just like her. Well, the well, the front visor, yeah. Samus goes through a lot of different ships in the Metroid universe, like. This does it, does it every single one explode? No, it's just that she always acquires a new one. Every usually most of the time in uh, Metroid One, you never saw her ship, and in Metroid uh, Two, you actually finally get to see her ship for the first time. That ship we're looking at, she keeps it for Metroid uh, Two, Super Metroid, and Metroid. What the fuck is that noise? Chris, what the fuck was that? A video. For a second there, I thought someone was fighting the background. Like, the fuck? Oh, we haven't been here yet. I'm guessing this is where the Metroid is? Oh, we've been here plenty of times. Yeah, what are you talking about, man? Are you talking about the... Well, the map doesn't say it. Oh, shit! What the fuck oh, is this? Yeah, well, all over I don't it. know if we should... Oh fuck, I just realized I said that. Sorry. <laughs> that, one, that one literally was an accident. Alright, well... Um... We have to dis No, in order for you to unlock the last area of the game, you have to destroy all the boss monsters. It's creepy, though. You can actually see, like, ghosts coming out of the statues every time the gem breaks. It's kinda weird. I don't get it. What do you mean? I don't get it. Like what? The statues? Like what? What? It, it's just a statue. You just, like, I don't get what you do. You're not, Chris. I those guess are... you Chris. have to get certain plasters. No, they represent the bosses we've been fighting, and you have I'm to not. kill all the bosses in order for you to access the last area of the game. New suit. Oh no, save station. No. Yeah, this. I think this is gonna be the only time throughout this whole game I'm probably gonna save. <laughs> no, you saved earlier in the ship. Chris, seriously. That's a weird video. What about these guys? Are these Metroids? They look like Metroids. They are actually Metroids. Or are these still mock droids? No, they're the real thing. So why? I thought I mean, there was only one. They there is in. there is one Metroid, but there's um, there's a reason why there's these other Metroids. Once we see the baby Metroid, I'll go into more detail about what happened and why is there's more Metroids, you know, they running about. Well, you can't say it's 
very fast asexual reproduction, but um, wait till we see what happened to the baby Metroid. All right, let's see what happened. All they right, got well, raped. All right, <laughs> well, we got it was raped. We got a couple more rooms to go before we get to the baby Metroid itself. But these Metroids are just like how they are in the original. You know, you freeze them. That's the best way to use them because Metroids hate uh, cold environments. That's why they always stay in uh, heated areas. And, you know, just freeze them and shoot them either with five missiles or one super missile and it takes care of them. They are the most dangerous enemies in the game, though, because... Why'd you just shoot that Chozo statue? Because they will uh, suck your health dry extremely quick, so... When those guys are on you, you know, don't, uh... Uh, just make sure to use lots of power bombs just to get them off. Holy you. crap! I'm guessing you're really what far ahead. Thing? Yeah, I'm guessing you're really far ahead because I'm right now... I'm at 11, 12, 11, 14, Holy 11, shit! 15. Yeah, yeah, you're 10 seconds ahead, my friend. Sorry. Oh, that's fine. It's alright. Let me know what he means. Yeah. Here, here's, our, here's our little abomination himself, the little baby Metroid. That's a baby? Yep, that's the baby Metroid that we came here to save. So it's eating us. I'm only guessing the reason why he stopped once Samus reached one energy is because it realized who we were. Because it knows it knows Samus from when it was uh, born. In fact, the first thing that it saw when it was born was Samus herself. So I'm guessing. Maybe it was just hungry. Yeah, I was hungry. That's for sure. But uh, I guess it was more of like it was just just so hungry that it just I don't know. Just relied more on animal instincts than anything else. And then it realized, you know, it was. Samus herself, so that's why it stopped. But anywho, the freaking I don't know what Ridley did when he dragged the uh, um, uh, the Metroid around, but apparently it was exposed to a um, to a chemical. I can't remember what the chemical is called. They, ex they explain it. Chemical X. <laughs> no, this ain't the Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> we could call it Chemical X. No, just yeah, X shit X no. Yeah, we're we'll just gonna bullshit it. But anyway, you do know that they did start it up again. Yeah, I know you told me. But yeah, the baby yeah. Metroid has been exposed to some chemicals on Cartoon Network. Yeah, well, the I baby. I gotta say, it's even cheesier than before. Okie doke. The baby Metroid has been exposed to some chemicals, and that is why it's reproducing really quick, and that's why all the rest of these other Metroids are running about. Oh great! Look, it's mother bitch. Yep, it's Mother Brain herself with a 16-bit upgrade. And she's just as pathetic as she was before. Just sitting there in that damn glass jar. Like a bitch. Isn't she supposed to be, like, the final boss? Yeah, she's the final boss. Kind of a pathetic final boss, but... Final boss. Seriously, a loss. If you should... Where's Shaniqua, damn it? Yeah, where's Shaniqua when we need her? Holy shit. Um, Godzilla? Yeah, but this time Mother Brain is actually not shitting around. She got herself a body now. So, yeah. But this fight Holy is... Holy shit. What's yeah, this? It's, it's Mother Brain, and this time she's, uh, she's packing. <laughs> <laughs> Mother Brain's packing some fucking heat. Well, yeah, because in the first Metroid game, she was just in that fucking pathetic glass jar. Now, this time, she comes complete with, like, rocket arms, lasers, all sorts of crap. But she's really not that So what, difficult. she's Mechagodzilla? I guess so. So she's Mech Mechagodzilla, basically. Mecha Sentinel Godzilla. Mecha, Mecha Mother Brain. Alright, official name, Mecha the Mother Brain. Make it, Nintendo. Make it. <laughs> Anywho, Jesus. she's At really. Point, I'm pretty sure that is because you know you have the original, like you had Godzilla, then they made Mecha Godzilla. I'm pretty sure this is Mecha, Mecha Mother Brain, Mecha Mecha High, Mecha High, Honey Honey Ho, and holy crap! Yeah. Yeah, that rainbow of death. You the beep. Yeah. I... <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> 
Yeah. Unabeam! This Unabeam cannot be dodged whatsoever. Unfortunately, Samus is in, it always gets hit by it. And unfortunately, I can't move because this is a scripted event. She's supposed to bring your health down really low. And she even took away the rest of my super missiles, my missiles, and my power bombs too with that beam. I don't know how she did that. Maybe she disintegrated my whole arsenal, but something happened. Well, this looks like the end of Samus. Unabi oh, shit! <laughs> yeah! There's an alien on my head! Yeah! <laughs> Sucker dry. How is that not sexual? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey, hey, she just jizzed a bit out of her mouth. You didn't see that right there? And now he's gonna eat Thomas. Yep. <laughs> oh no, he's giving it. Oh. Yep. So that's how they became. She's drooling. Strange. She's almost dead. Yeah, I know, right? Monster Hunter <laughs> logic. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let her go to bed. Don't let her sleep. Yeah. Thank you. Oh Pete. shit! Detroit? She's getting back her power. Thank you, Baby Metroid. Yeah. No, Baby Metroid! Yeah, I think you guys are way ahead of me. I'm oh, on like... Oh, no! That's sad! It's getting attacked! It looks like it's about to it's die. Super Samus! Or Hyper Samus. Baby Metroid, no! Ooh, what you say? <laughs> I don't know the rest of the lyrics of that. Samus is pissed now. <laughs> It's Hyper Samus. Taste the rainbow, yeah, motherfucker! Caesar! <laughs> Skittles! Taste the Taste rainbow, the motherfucker! And rainbow! <laughs> this is for my Metroid! Poor Quill! Yeah. Bitch! <laughs> no, she's back to being ahead. Yep. This final boss is really pathetic. Even if you don't have- Time bomb set, how did I- No. Even though if you don't have a lot of the upgrades like I do, you know, you, you just can still beat her with ease. All you just need to do is just stand in the corner and just unload a lot of missiles into her. And hell, even your charge beam will do perfectly fine. And now for the most famous part of every Metroid game, the countdown sequence. Seriously, is every place we go to blow up? Well, like I said, I'm waiting for Talon 4 from Metroid Prime to blow up anytime soon. Because that's the only planet I would find like so She just froze the timer. Yeah. I would not. No, it up. They should have just had an interdimensional time rift that prevents it that one second from going down. Exactly. Hey, Chris, can you actually uh, go back a bit to, uh, you know, where I am in the video or something like that? Where are you? I'm at uh, 1806, 1807, 1808. I, I am with you then. You are with me? I'm sorry, I can't go back to that time, Ethan. It's way... I didn't like enjoy being there to begin with, so yeah. Well, my screen now I'll say this, a lot of people were really fucked up back then. On uh, my screen, you just landed. Now you just right. lava. Alright, so... Eh, and you're, now we're you're, still running. You're, you're, one, you're one second above... Or two seconds behind me, but I don't care. You know. That's oh. the delay, so we're, we're timed to correct yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. Shit, shit, shit. Yeah, don't be reckless when you're doing this because the law, the, well, I don't know. I want to say it's acid because with the gravity suit, you know, what Eric pointed out when we were in the deep part of Norfair, you know, we were able to get into the lava because that's what the gravity suit is Leo's for. Nothing. But I think this is like some sort of acid and the gravity suit can't handle it. That's my only. That's my only explanation I can really pull out. Oh my shit, head. things are vibrating. I can't see. And we end in the shaft that Chris can't climb. Yeah, you're having trouble with it right there. <laughs> <laughs> but you would have fallen all the way down and stayed in the acid for a long time. You mean lava? No, no it's again. acid. I say it's lava. Well, if it was lava, then I wouldn't be unscathed by it then. Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's lava. Yeah. If it was lava, then I would not be scathed by it. I, I, I think it's lava, dude. Well, that's cool. Run, Ethan, run! You keep telling yourself that, I'm Chris, just and you'll dude. die. <laughs> <laughs> what are these, Chocobos? I don't even think I'll make it this far in the game. Chocobo. 
Hey, that looks like the like the um, Cora Peco. <laughs> I say, Why move, get you your ass going. There to do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can save the little animals. It's a little. It's optional. I always save them. <laughs> I shot one of the little. Uh, ones. Well, <laughs> you know, get your ass going. They're go. all gonna die. No, they don't. They land, get on your ship or something. Believe it or not, those things know how to accompany a ship. But you have the only ship. That's what I'm wondering because I didn't see any other ships on this planet. And uh... there. Once we get into our sh into the ship, it's over. And with that, we beat Super Metroid. We get to watch Planet Zebus blow at 16 bit goodness. Yeah, it's 40. It kind of reminds me of Jupiter a bit. And. No, it, it reminds me of is the Death Star. Yeah. Dude, uh -huh. those graphics. <laughs> <laughs> I still love that explosion. To it's, still, it's still yeah, it confusing me to this very day. The yeah, thing that brought the Death Star to its knees was an exhaust port. Yeah, kind I'm of. I'm pretty a... sure some dipshit would have just put some fucking plywood over that, and there'd be no way the rebellion would have won. Yeah, they weren't smart enough, though. Let's see, two Dude, hours. What was that? Where are you, Captain? Captain Hyde Hyde. That we read about Luke, if he were to like, if he were to miss or something, he would have been like the biggest douchebag. Yeah, Luke would have. <laughs> you know what? Instead of actually having to, here's 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 my question: Why do we have to go along this fucking trench? Why don't we? Fly the distance over, then go directly towards the fucking exhaust vent, going pew, pew 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 until one of them gets in. Yeah. I don't understand how you fire a missile and then all of a sudden it directly changes instantly to go downwards into the exhaust port. That it it baffles me. Yeah, Star Wars has a lot of little plot holes like that. But anywho. I know you guys barely have anything to say about Super Metroid, but in your opinions of watching this commentary, what do you think of the game? What game? I liked it. It gets a 5 out of 5. It's classic. It has a very good gameplay. It has, it has a confusing as hell story. Uh, I, think that's but... a, that, I think that's some of its charm, though, that it's like not just easy to get by. Like You have to do a lot of thinking. Yeah, because this oh, game no, I, is... I'd say it's a very good game. Yeah, because I, I did enjoy it. <laughs> As we still so when, cut off Ethan. When we were actually talking about the game was actually pretty good. <laughs> anyway, no, but yeah, I agree. About. I agree with you what you said, Eric. It's got pretty good gameplay. It looks like a great game. And I haven't played it, but it is fun. Yeah, yeah, well, Super Metroid unfortunately lies in those games of Nintendo Power, which pretty much you need Nintendo Power in order to know where it, you and then and know where it, it's okay. <laughs> I mean, shut the fuck up. <laughs> because unfortunately, this is one of your guide games. The only reason why I knew where to go and where all the power house was was just years of experience playing over and over and over again. And I just hey, love. Yeah, Super you have no lives. I will say this. this I is had lots of time as a kid. The very I'm kidding, right? I know. I, I technically have no life now with school and work. God damn it, shut the fuck up. There, you, you don't need to put every single thought in this sentence, Chris. Anyway. I only have one of the games that made it. God damn it, shut up! I got one thing <laughs> I got one thing to say, though. Rest in peace, Gunpa Yoko. Yeah. Oh, he passed away? Oh, he passed away a long time ago. I think he passed away around the time uh, Super Metroid actually was Ooh, created. Jinky. Oh shit! Ah. Oh yep. yeah, they they, uh. they just had to put that in there. Yep. If you beat the time, uh, if you beat uh, Super Metroid in a certain time, you actually get to see Samus in her zero suit. That's I guess that's a prototype to her zero suit or something like that. I don't know. If you're into that stuff, true. yeah. I like that that zero suit better than the oh, one. Fuck. Ninety nine percent. The fuck. The fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was going to 100% it. What the fuck is this? <laughs> there we go. Miss the super missile pack. <laughs> there we go. Much that's better. <laughs> that's there funny. we go. Now that's 100%. <laughs> that was funny. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I need that for All right, everybody. Troll. Feel amongst the stars, and Chris, go fuck yourself. Okay. Uh, 
Well, as I was saying about Gunpa Yoko, is that Gunpa Yoko was the creator of Metroid and the Game Boy. So, yeah. I so, yeah, one thing, I right? Game Boy. So, next Metroid game, I'm not too sure if I'm going to go to Metroid, Metroid Prime. Or, or, you want me to do Metroid Prime? I think you should. All right, I guess I'll do Metroid Prime next time. Uh, don't know when I'm going to be able to get to recording that, but hopefully soon. Hopefully Later, soon. everybody. Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. Bye.